In this video, I'll show you how to create some summary graphs and summary statistics for this data set here, which is the top 100 motion pictures from 2011. So let's start with a histogram. If we go to visualizing data and then histograms, It'll bring up a dialog that allows me to select my data and I'm gonna select opening gross sales. And then over here on the right, I can select where the output is going to appear and I'm gonna put it in a new sheet. Under options, this allows me to control how the intervals are calculated and by default, um, 10 equal size intervals are gonna be calculated that covers the range of the data. And then under outputs, I could include some descriptive statistics. Under charts, I can change the way the histogram looks. Uh, but let's leave it like that, see what happens. So here are the results, here's my histogram, and then here's my frequency table. And you can see that Excel stat calculated 10 equal size intervals uh, going from 0 to 17, 17 to 34, 34 to 51, and so on. If I wanted to change those intervals to something that's uh, perhaps a little bit easier to process, so for example, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, and so on, um, or perhaps in this case, uh, 0 to 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 45, then the way that I can do that is if I click this red triangle, It'll bring the dialog box back. And then under options, I can change intervals to range and then type 15 here. And then it will redo the analysis, but this time the intervals will be a width of 15 rather than 17 as they were before. So a little bit easier to, to read this table and then is, is what the corresponding histogram looks like. Okay, let's move on to scatter plots. So let me move back to my spreadsheet, click visualizing data again, this time pick scatter plots. This time I pick an X variable, which will be opening gross sales for this example, and a Y variable, which will be total gross sales. And then I'll click okay. And there's my example of a scatter plot, total gross sales on the vertical axis, the Y axis, opening gross sales on the X axis, the horizontal axis. If I wanted to calculate the correlation in that graph, I could come up to correlation and association tests and then select my two variables and then I want to calculate a Pearson correlation, which is the usual kind of correlation. And there we go. There's a correlation between those two variables, 0 0.887. Let's calculate some other summary statistics. So if I go to describing data and click descriptive statistics, I'll select my data. I'm gonna select all four variables this time. And then under outputs, this is a list of all the summary statistics that can be displayed. So I'll just select the more common ones. Uh, under options, I can also include some charts and you can select the charts that you want to have a look at by clicking charts, and then I'm gonna select box plots. So here's the results. And in the table, we've got, uh, for example, there's the medians, uh, here's the means, all four variables, standard deviations. And then down here are the, uh, the box plots. So for example, the middle 50% of the data is within the, the green box. The whisker extends to 
one and a half times the interquartile range away from the top of the box. And then anything beyond that uh, is probably worth having a closer look at because it may be an outlier. So for example, this point here tells me it's 169.19. If I go back to the spreadsheet, looks like that, uh, that data point is for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. So we might want to look a little more closely at that movie.